Also tonight, the Drug Enforcement Agency brings its youth dance program to a school here in East Dayton. It's part of the agency's 360 strategy to combat the nation's drug epidemic by providing kids with positive after school activities. Kristen Eskow shows us how the program is a great example of what's working in Dayton. Brooke and Mark, the DEA says the youth dance program also teaches kids how to make healthy choices and introduces them to role models in the community. Now officials are hoping to make that impact here in Dayton. These dancers from the Dayton Contemporary Dance Company are showing these kids at the Ruskin School some of their moves. Five, six, seven, eight. But they're also getting the young audience members on their feet. Our dancers go on stage and they, they teach the kids, but then they're also giving positive messages. Meredith Lee Pelt says that's one of the goals behind the DEA Youth Dance Program, which is making its Dayton debut. It's a partnership with the DEA's 360 strategy, which emphasizes community outreach and encourages kids to get into positive after school activities. We love coming out and performing for the kids, but we also love coming after school and teaching the kids who really are excited to be here and they want to learn to move, they want to learn to dance. It was phenomenal. It was absolutely, I learned a few moves. Ellen Mays, the school's neighborhood site coordinator, says the program is also a way to help kids stay active and show them how to make healthy decisions. It teaches them that there's other things to do than um, making poor choices and gives them the opportunity to make great choices and spend their time doing something that's positive for their future development. That was good. Let's do it one more time. Organizers say the program goes beyond teaching kids how to dance. It's also about connecting them with adults they can aspire to become. They're healthy, they're happy, they're dancing, they're moving, they're eating well. Positive, we like to give positive role models to kids so that they have real life people in their own community to look up to. Organizers tell us the dance classes are free and are set to start next week at the Ruskin School. They'll be held on Thursdays. Kristen Eskow, 2 News, working for you.